Hey, what's going on, good people? Hope everybody's having a great day today. If you're not familiar with me for some crazy reason, just kidding. Uh, I'm Ryan McCrary, CEO of McCrary Financial Solutions, LLC, and author of the best-selling New York Times selling, not yet, but best-selling book, Mind Over Money, How to Think Like an Investor and Take Care of Business First. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting the book. The love has literally, literally been overwhelming, great. All my supporters, all of the events I, that, I, that I've been to, spoke at, all the uh, people that bought it online, on my website, all the people that bought it on Amazon. Thank you all for that. I'm getting the royalty payments, all that. So shout out to everybody that supported my book since I launched it on June 1st. I had no idea what I was, you know, what to expect. I remember when I was writing it, I was like, I got so much information I want to share with the world, so much expertise, so much experience, but I don't know how people are going to respond to it. Are they going to like it? Are they not going to like it? But with me, if you know me, then you know that I don't care, like meaning I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall flat on my face. So of course I put it out, but you never know how the market's going to respond. So thank you to everybody, everybody from my family members, from friends, from people that I've known from elementary to high school to college to my per professional life, personal life, everybody that's been supporting me. Thank you guys for that. I had to say that from the beginning. So do me a favor. When you, if you watch this on replay, type replay down in the chat. Type your name, where you're from. And if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, type the name of your business and your website. See a few people coming on. Once you come on, please share. Please share this on your personal page, business page. If you've got a group, share it in your Facebook group. Um, again, if you watch this on replay, type replay. Type your name where you're from, and if you have a business, the name of your business. So again, thank you to everybody who's been supporting my book. The love has been overwhelming. Great support. People literally all over from California to Hawaii to Florida to New York, Atlanta, Texas, Chicago, London, Houston, all over the UK, not just London. I've sent books everywhere. I've sent books to the Caribbean. So just thank you to all my supporters, all my followers, all my clients, everybody. Thank y'all. So today I just want to talk about always lead with value first, no matter what you're doing, whether you're trying to build a relationship with someone, you're trying to network with someone, you're trying to, you know, sell a product or service as a business owner, always lead with value first. This is especially for my entrepreneurs because a lot of us overlook that. As entrepreneurs, of course, we're focused on making money. Me, I'm focused on making money, of course. I'm focused on teaching other people how to make money. But at the same time, do not get caught up on just trying to make money. One of the number one rules in business that I've seen from successful entrepreneurs, uh, you know, people that have real businesses, people that have long lasting businesses, people that have businesses that grow, is that they're not just worrying about the sale. They're not just in whatever industry they're in, just trying to make money. So that's something that I learned, uh, you know, because when you first start your business, nine times out of 10, you probably won't be making a lot of money. So you want to make sure you're doing something that you're passionate about, something that you like, you know, so if the money dries up through the money slower, you have a slow day or week or month or year. You're still doing what you love. You still love getting out of bed every day to do what you love or be on your computer or work from home or go out, network, whatever the case may be. But you want to make sure, number one, you're passionate about it. So uh, what that means is you want to lead with value first. Any type of product or service that you're trying to sell, make sure you are leading with value first. Make sure you are, you know, engaging with people. Make sure you are providing them information about your product or service. Make sure you always lead with value first. If you're trying to network someone, if you network with someone, if you're trying to, uh, you know, connect with someone, always say to them, um, how can I help you? What can I do for you? What can I offer to you? Always offer something first. If you're networking with someone, if you want to connect with someone, you want to get with someone that's three steps ahead of where you want to be, always offer something first, whether that's money and maybe money you may have to pay in for a consultation or a coaching session or just to be around them. If you have the money, do it. If that person is going to help you get to the next level, pay them the money. It may be time. It may be resources. It may be whatever, you know, your help, you know, maybe a product or whatever. Do it always offer something first. So 
Always lead with value first as a business owner. Always lead with value first. Understand your tribe. Understand, you know, their belief patterns. Understand their needs and their wants. Understand their issues and their problems. Always give back. You know, always uh, you can give away free products, giveaways, whatever the case may be. But make sure you are leading with value first. I'm telling you, once you lead with value first, everything else will fall into place. You'll be amazed at things that come back on the back end just by leading with value first. So if you just start a product, you may want to give it out for free. You may want to give, you know, give away some value, give away some information, give away some uh, expertise. Always, always lead with value first. Again, if you don't know me, my name is Ryan McCrary, CEO of McCrary Financial Solutions and author of Mind Over Money. How to think like an investor and take care of business first. If you watch this on replay, type replay. Uh, type your name, where you're from, and what your business is. And also, please share. So again, just make sure you always, always lead with value first. And, you know, people, clients, anyone, people can see it a mile away. If you're being fake, if you're just trying to make money, if you're not trying to offer any value, you know, if, if people uh, can't see that you care, it's going to be noticeable. It's going to be noticeable. So that's how you build a long lasting business. That's how you grow. If you see business and you say, yo, how is that person keep winning? You know, how is that person be getting ahead? How is that company keep growing? It's because they're probably leading with value first. They're probably leading with value first. If it's a product, if it's a membership site, you may want to give a free trial. That's leading with value first saying, hey, try our product for free. If you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to stay with us, but try it out for free. See how you like it. We're here if you have any questions. That's leading with value first, as opposed to saying, just buy my product or service. It's $29 a month or, you know, $100 a month or $200 a month. Go try, you know, go buy my product and then we can talk. Always lead with value first, especially if you're just new and just starting a business. Make sure you always always lead with value first try to provide as much value as humanly possible around your product or service at you know a rate you can afford so you still got good margins always lead with value value first i still shoot for random what's up king i still shoot for free from time to time yes that's leading with value first because you never know who you're going to be shooting for free you never know where that person's going to go that person might blow up who that person knows who that person rubs shoulders with you know, who that person uh, meets a year from now and they're going to remember, oh, yeah, Brandon, yeah, yeah, he shot me for free. You know, someone comes to him. You never know who they mingle with. Oh, you know, I need uh, uh, I need a photo shoot done real quick. Oh, I know, Brandon, you know, he did it for me for free, but, you know, whatever. He's a good dude, you know, and then he may say, and then you don't know that person, so you're not going to always get everything for free. So just by giving that one person something for free, that could lead in a lot of money down the line. That's what I've experienced. I gave away a lot. I've, I've given away a lot of value. Still do every day, of course. But I give away a lot of value, you know, a lot of things that I know I'm going to get on the back end. And now I'm starting to see things coming on the back end. Giving, you know, things for free, products for free, time for free, expertise, information, knowledge for free. That's going to come back on the back end. So, uh, again, y'all, I can't stay on that long because I got to uh, run. But uh, if you do watch this on replay again, type your name, where you're from, and if you have a business, type your name of your business, your link to your website, and also type replay so I know you watched it. You can also send any message to the page. Uh, if any issues, any questions, any help, any assistance, anything you need, I'm trying to provide value first. So that's why I come on here for free and give information to try to provide value. That is why, you know, weekly, uh, at least weekly, I offer information on, you know, this on this live or my YouTube channel or through my emails or whatever, always trying to give information for free. From time to time, I may even hop on a call for free, which is rare, but I may do it if I know that I can help you in a specific area that's going to get you to the next level. So I'm always, always trying to provide value. If there's any way I can provide more value, just let me know. Send a message to the page. Again, if you haven't shared, please share this out. But just always keep that in mind. And Brandon hit it on the head. Uh, you know, he still does shoot free for free time and time. Now, of course, you can't give away everything for free. That's another pitfall that sometimes people fall into because they give away everything for free. Now, you cannot give everything away for free because you will go out of business. 
you know, I've had someone, you know, call me recently and say, you know, uh, we see your books free plus shipping, but can we get a bundle order for free? And I'm like, no, I can't give you a hundred books for free because I will go out of business. If you went on and bought the book for free, you know, on my website, free plus shipping each one, that I would still collect $700 because you still have to pay for shipping. So if, you know, someone called me and said, oh, I want you to send me a hundred books for free because your book's free. Like, no, it's for free if you buy one, but I cannot afford to give a hundred books away for free because I will go out of business and I'm trying to build a million dollar business. Like I will go out of business. So just remember, of course, you can't give away everything for free, but uh, you still want to give that value. You know, if you know this free shoot or whatever is going to help someone get to the next level, it may get you in the door somewhere else and may build a relationship. You know, you, of course, you got to know, you know, pick and choose, you know, what to do. But just as a business owner in general, you need to be giving away value, whether that's a discount, you know, whatever. And of course, you don't discount everything. Of course, you don't want to go out of business, but you still want to just lead with value. That's why I say you just lead and start with giving away value. Because once people see, oh, he's giving away so much value, he's giving away this and that and that and free shoot and free this and whatever and discount of this, they're going to say, okay, th that's going to stay in their mind. That's going to stay in their mind. So that, you know, gets you word of mouth, gets you made referrals, whatever. It's all about building up that network, getting your name out there. So remember, always leave with value first, no matter what business you start. Always leave with value first. Do not just try to make money. The fastest way to go out of business is to just do the business just to make money. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen. People get in the business or industry that they're not so passionate about. They think it's a whole bunch of money. They try to make all this money and they may even make some money. But to last, I'm telling you, do not get in it just for the money because then once you have the money, then what? You ain't happy. You know what I mean? You're, everything revolves around making money. You're not happy. You know what I mean? You're not in a good space. You chase something that you already got. And now, you know, you have no more goals and aspirations. Nothing else gets you excited because you chase something that really, you know, is, you know, I mean, of course, you know, we all want to have money. But once you, you know, have a certain amount of money, it's not just about having money. Use money as a tool. Me, I want a lot of money because I want to use it as a tool to change the world, to give back. To provide for my community, I can name many other, many other different things, but that's why I want to make a lot of money. Because I want to use it as a tool, but don't just try to sell a product or do a business just to make money. So that's it today. Remember, always leave with value first. Um, any information, any messages, of course, you can send it to the page. If you haven't got my book yet, make sure you get it. Go to mindovermoneybook.com. That's mindovermoneybook.com.